Hey guys, so today's session was had a lot of interesting points in it. Um, a couple days ago, um, I couldn't come out. It was Easter and I was having a hard time like uh, getting back in the snow to the barn and it was too late by the time I came, got back to Helena um, because of the snow to come see her. So I had to skip a day. Well, um, I think it was kind of hard on River because when I came out yesterday, she did not want to come in the pen. And I was freezing cold. <laughs> so um, I ended up stepping out and just standing next to her, kind of closer to her than the gate is. Um, so that was yesterday. And today it, it kind of showed again. Um, I think River has a tendency of playing hard to get because I think I sat for about 15 minutes um, this time, which is longer than ever before, really. Uh, for her to walk in and as you saw I, I uh, popped up and stood near the gate to kind of help her out because you know when you're stubborn sometimes it's really hard to fully make the other choice you know what I mean so and she just has to know like um, part of it is she has to know like I'm really here now you know um, I think that one day off like was different for her obviously I was about to bring um, well this halter into it. I thought she'd be ready for that today. I don't think she was ready for that today. So um, I'm really glad I just used the rope that she is very comfortable with, loves putting in her mouth. Um, and basically, you know, roped her. I think her biggest issue was the fact that it was around her legs and she couldn't see where it is. Um, so she freaked out. Uh, the thing about that is, is she was scared for a minute, um, but she also learns really fast um, because within, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, she understands it. She's still wary of it near her legs. It's going to take a lot longer to get out, but she understood it. Um, and I just, I want to say those freak out moments, they're not, I know she all of a sudden looks big and scary, but honestly, they're not. They're not that big a deal in her mind. And because of that, they're not as big a deal in my mind either. Now I have to take steps to um, to protect myself. And yeah, there were a couple moments in there where I'm like, ah, I'm suddenly too close. Um, so I'm going to work on that myself and make sure I'm, um, first of all, more aware of the moments she might freak out. Um, that's the biggest thing, I think. And then being able to see those in advance and get to a safer spot for myself. Um, yeah, so she, when it, she, whenever she kicks out, she's not doing that to hurt at all. So um, she doesn't like it around her legs, and she can't really see it. It's kind of difficult for her. Um, but the freak out wasn't, wasn't too bad, honestly. It's, it's okay. There's going to be moments like that um, in life and in training a Mustang. <laughs> but she came around really quickly, and I was so pleased by the end that she was yawning, and her eyes were soft again. And we also started working on leading. And so you saw I was putting pressure on her. And that's a big thing with horses. Horses, when they feel, when they feel pressure, they, like, so, so say... I don't know, pretend we're leading me. Say I feel this pressure. I'm not automatically going to go here to release the pressure. I'm going to go here to see if I can release the pressure. <laughs> and that's horses. Um, they do not naturally understand that, you know, when you feel a tug, you should go with the tug. They go the other way. That's how they get out. And so it's a big step you need to teach them. Like in the human world, you feel a tug, you give into it. And it's so helpful. Like imagine a horse gets stuck to, stuck in a barbed wire fence. They feel that, you know, resistance and they try and pull back. They're just going to basically kill themselves. But if they have learned, this is a people thing, I need to just give to the pressure and it won't be so bad they have a much higher chance if you can teach them that. And so she was learning that today with me physically, um, with the rope and stuff. And, and so, you know, she was following me a lot just to get more, more cuddles and, and lick me more, basically. Um, but she was also learning, like, a little bit of pressure, go towards. So that was, it was an excellent day. And you know what? The, the golden ticket of how wonderful it is at the end is that she was yawning that she was super relaxed, she was not freaked out by the end. She understands the rope so much better. Not fully, but she understands it so much better. So, 
life is good. Definitely exciting today, but um, we got we got through it very well. So.